What's up, YouTube and uh, loyal subscribers? How are you guys all doing today? I hope you guys are all doing really good. Uh, what you're going to be watching today is a uh, hardpoint gameplay on the map slums, obviously. And uh, look at me beast on these kids right in the beginning. I cut out just the intro, like the me opening into the fray and stuff. But as you can see, I go on like a pretty mean streak right off the start. So, uh, you know, I just cut out a little bit of the stuff. And um, this match lasted... I don't know, like 9 minutes, so hopefully it's like 8 minutes and 30 seconds. Just trying to make the videos a little bit shorter, but uh, not too short because it needs to fit the topic. So, you know, if the topic's going to run about 8 minutes, then, uh, yeah, I guess that's what the commentary is going to be about. You know, I mean, 8 minutes isn't much to sit through anyways, and hopefully I don't bore you enough so that you do sit through them and you enjoy it. So, uh, yeah, like I said, hardpoint gameplay. Using the Peacekeeper with the uh, grip and the fast mags, that's definitely the way you want to go for this gun. Uh, for me, anyways, I don't know. To me, it just seems really jumpy without it. And uh, I think it's really, really good. And your boy gets outplayed here by this guy. Jump shots me. I don't know. It was kind of weird. It was kind of weird. I think he should have died, but I don't know. It looks like he had me in his sights pretty good. But, uh, yeah, uh, the Hellstorm Missile Lightning Strike and Sentry Gun are my loadout. It's a pretty defensive loadout, especially for hardpoint. It really gets him out of the thing. This is during my earlier point of just resetting my stats so uh, that's why i'm using a uh, lower streaks but uh like i said lowered my streaks also having a lot more fun with the game get into more repetitively and uh all that great stuff but um what i want to talk about today is uh, i thought i'd give you guys a little insight into uh the future in my life which is the near future and uh some things i'm going to be doing they're going to be some really big changes and uh i have a little bit of advice for you guys also so uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Well, a number one big thing that I'm going to be doing in life, and uh, real quick too, as in the fall, uh, I'm going to be going back to school, and I'm going to be going to college. I'm going to be going to a city college, you know, because uh, state colleges are a little bit too expensive to start out at, and you don't really need to start there for general ed anyways. So uh, I'm going to be going to a city college, and uh, I really need to get a degree. And, uh, you know, I really, uh, you guys know I work for Costco. Most of you uh, newer subscribers, if you didn't know, yeah, I work for Costco, you know. I'm a part-time employee there. And, uh, you know, it's a it's a good job and all, but, uh, I mean, I know the pay scales, they're pretty competitive. And there can be a pretty good future for you there. But uh, sometimes there's just things that go on, and uh, it makes me question the company, the stability, and I get outplayed here too. I don't know what the frick was wrong with me, but you know, it makes me, uh, it makes me question the stability and cause the decisions sometimes what's of what's going on in the company just don't make sense to me. And, uh, I don't know with hours being cut and stuff and such a flourishing company too. And it's very strange that it would be doing what it's doing. And I don't know. I'm just tired of it. I've been, uh, through multiple jobs in the short amount of time that I've worked. You know, I started working when I was about 19, I think. I didn't start very soon. And uh, I'm 24 now, so that's a good five years of working, you know. And I've been through multiple jobs, and I've held jobs for a good decent amount of time. And I was at a Save Mart Supermarkets. It's a local place. It doesn't go very far into, like, other places where you guys might live at. So you'd have no idea what it was. But it was a small chain store, and it was actually pretty big for what it was but uh, you know things went down there and it just wasn't really good and I always wanted to be in management and get promoted and unfortunately there just was no promotion and uh, it was really frustrating and then I got here at Costco and uh, you know I really thought that it was gonna be a whole a whole different thing you know but it come to find out it's being the same thing and I just don't have time to be messing around like that anymore you know, I want to I wanna be able to make that job, to make that six figures. And, you know, I, I, want, I, like, to, I like to have nice things. You know, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, I like to have nice things. And uh, I don't brag about them, no. I, I definitely don't. I work hard for what I have. And, uh, you know, it's definitely, uh, I, I hate, you know, it's just, 
I, I really like to have nice things and that's just how I am. So I need to get a good job and a stable job and I'm tired of, you know, just messing around. It's time to just get to go back to school as much as I hate it. It's time to go back and uh, just put all my efforts into it and do everything I can and to get my business degree with the uh, human resources emphasis. If you don't know what human resources is, it's pretty much like you can think of it as sort of a big dog management position. And um, that's basically what it is. It's when you learn a little bit about the laws, too, of the workplace, you know, maybe this might interest you guys. And maybe if you guys are thinking of going to college, uh, you know, maybe it'll interest you to be, be your major. But, um, you know, you learn a little bit about the laws of what you can and cannot do to an employee, uh, what can't be done to employees. And you're, top, you're the kind of person that uh, basically when somebody's in trouble, if there was an altercation between employees and the person who started the altercation, if there needs to be a severe punishment, whether it be like a uh, suspension or maybe even a freaking extermination, whatever, uh, then you're the one that pretty much has to lay that lay that down. And um, they come to you for help. Employees come, for you, come to you for help and a lot of other things that your job involves. But uh, it's definitely like a high up management in charge kind of position and I've always wanted to be in the management field so uh, I definitely think it fits me and uh, I've thought about it and I need to get it done before I uh, become 30 so I want to get uh, a master's degree and hopefully I can bag that before I get to 30 years of age and uh, that would be pretty awesome but uh, you know it involves a lot of uh, sacrifice I have a really nice car that I pay for now and uh, it's pretty much the main thing stopping me from going to school because I do want to, uh, you know, take the time to really concentrate on school. So I want to work part time. I don't want to be working there, you know, full time, like and trying to go to school full time. You know, I really didn't do well in high school. So I want to uh, attempt to do well at my absolute best here in college, you know, because this is where it's going to matter. This is where it's going to count. So, you know, I definitely want to take my time to do that and do it the right way, not waste my money and not waste my time. Because when you're paying for something, it's a completely different experience as to being forced to go in the high school days. I really wish I would have uh, paid more attention back then and applied myself and wanted to learn. So my advice to you guys on that subject is, you know, stay in high school as much as you might not want to. Get that diploma. And when you get out of there, for those of you who are dead set on going to college after high school, do it. And apply yourself to the maximum that you can. Because let me tell you, I thought that I was going to be able to get a job and just be A-OK. -okay. And it's a struggle. It's a struggle every day. You know, making ends meet, making bills and, you know, the hour shortage. And you just, you don't want to be in a predicament like that. It's very, uh, it's a very stressful position and it sucks a lot. So uh, definitely my advice to you guys is if you want to go to college, go to college and ap apply yourself to the maximum. Know what you want your major to be. Don't go there and waste time. Go there and take care of what needs to be done, and uh, it's going to be all worth it. Whether you don't like school or, or not, it, it's definitely worth it. And if you need to take a year or two for you to realize it yourself because you might need to realize it yourself don't you know you might not be able to take just my word for it but it is very true and uh you will experience it and uh you know if you need to take those year or two to realize it that's even better because then you're more likely to apply yourself so uh really think about that guys and uh you know getting rid of my car is gonna suck i love it it's a 2011 lancer revolution 10 it's a Mitsubishi. It's a beast of a car. If you know what an Evo is, you can look it up, and it's a monstrous car. Uh, you know, it's fast. It's sexy. It's everything that you know a young guy could want. But um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this commentary, and uh, I will still be doing YouTube full time. That's not gonna stop, no matter what's going on in my life. YouTube is a great hobby. It's a great outlet. So I really hope you guys, uh, you know, keep keep subscribing, keep doing all that great stuff. Uh, you guys are awesome. Final score is 48 and 13. I'm out of here. Peace.